Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about symbol arts because as we all know, fashion is the true endgame and what better way to flex your fashion with symbol arts. But before we jump into that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I need to talk about is how to enable symbol art. So you need to go to systems over here, go to options, go to sound and chat, and you need to scroll down a little bit and down here it's going to tell you symbol arts display area, party, alliance, and group. All right. So by default, these will be disabled. So you're going to have to re-enable them by putting it all the way to the right side where it says display. Okay. The next thing is you're going to press enter and right here, you're going to see symbol arts. You're going to click on this and over here on the save list are all the symbol arts that you've saved. Now, again, if you are premium, you're going to have four different pages, so up to 40 different symbol arts. But if you're free to play, you only get one page, which is 10 symbol arts. So the easiest way to get symbol arts is simply click on save list and go to history standard. Once you're in history standard, it automatically saves all the different symbol arts that you've seen that other players have been spamming around you. So for example, the aqua smug over here, if you want it, you'd simply click on it, click on save, and then you can save it on any of your 10 slots as a free to play. Now, if you run out of the 10 slots, then you're going to have to overwrite one of your saves in order to implement it. So for example, the Chica email over here, if I want to overwrite it, it's going to ask you, are you sure? You're going to click yes and saved. Once that is saved, now I'm going to go to my regular save list and you're going to see, boom, the Aqua Smug symbol art will be here now. So that is the easiest way to get symbol arts. You're simply taking symbol arts from other players, which are spamming it in game. And thus you don't need to import your own symbol art. However, if you want to learn how to import your own symbol arts, you can come to the import tab over here, click import, and boom, these are all the different symbol arts that I personally have on my computer. So you can see here, this is the Chica one that I just had. I can save that again. I can overwrite, boom, done. So now I'm going to teach you where to get all of these symbol arts so that you can download your own symbol arts onto your computer and import it into PSO2 or into NGS so that you get your own unique symbol arts. However, do keep in mind the moment you use a symbol art, everyone around you which has seen the symbol art can go to their history over here. It will show up here and they can just save it. So then, you know, it won't be exclusively your symbol art anymore. So just keep that in mind okay so the first thing we're gonna need to do is we are gonna need to close the game okay so the very first thing is you're gonna need to come to this website called wikiwiki.jp slash pso2sa so this is basically a huge database where the jp players save all of their symbol arts and so you're gonna see over here unfortunately it's all in japanese of course you can use google translate to uh, translate everything into english if you use chrome i think you just click here and you can translate it into english but the tldr is there are two different type of categories of symbol arts so the top category over here is what they call like official symbol arts so they're categorized into libraries so you've got library 1 to 10 all the way to uh, 101 over here and each library simply just means the more recent symbol arts so if you want to see the very first symbol symbol art ever uploaded here like eight years ago you can go to page one over here library one and these are the very earliest versions of symbol arts that were uploaded on base pso2 so eight years ago so you might notice that okay you know the pixel art is pretty retro it's not super duper crazy it's not super high res so it depends if you're looking for this stuff you know maybe you like the hatsune miku pse burst stuff over here then you can take it however if you want something more recent then you can go to the newer ones so for example let's go to library 97 so when we go to library 97 over here you're going to notice that this anime has a more recent anime symbol arts for example the comfy camp or whatever is this anime was called yuri yuri camp or something super good of course we've got my favorite girl over here and you've got a whole list of symbol arts over here which you can save now because all of these symbol arts are in the quote unquote official library the download links are going to be a little bit more complicated versus the unofficial ones so the official ones basically mean that they are uploaded on their own private website so when you want to download it you simply click on it so let's say we want to download this symbol art over here this is going to pop up we're going to click on this to download it's going to pop up a new link and over here you're going to have to actually type in a password it's going to ask you right here please type in the password before you can download the link so how do you find the password well actually it tells you right here the password is Hanaka. So you're simply going to copy the password, you're going to paste it at the bottom link right here, and click download. 
and it's going to be like, oh, password complete, yeah, you now can download the file. Then you're going to click on this again, and now it's going to say thank you for downloading, and you click on download now. And once you finish downloading the file, it will be called something.sar. So in order to make the symbol art show up when you click import in PSO2 or in NGS, you're simply going to need to go to my documents first. So once you're in my documents, you're going to notice that there is a Sega folder. Go to the Sega folder, go to fantasy star na slash steam. So if you are using Windows, it will also pop up here. So depending on what platform you use, unfortunately on Xbox, this will not work on Xbox. But what you can do is you can log into your account on like a PC and then import all the symbol arts. And that way, when you go back to your Xbox and play on your Xbox, your symbol arts will be there. Or you can get your friends to do it and just share the symbol arts with you, like what I showed you earlier. All right. So for me, I play on Steam, so I'm going to open up the Steam folder here. Then you have a folder right here called Symbol Arts, and there's going to be called an Import folder right here. Double click on this. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag this .sar into this folder right here. Now, if you're like me and your Windows is in English and not in Japanese, you're going to need to change the title of this SAR. You can't have the Japanese text over here because if you do, it won't be able to import properly. It'll just say fail to import. So what you need to do is you can just change this to any title. I'm going to change it to Yuri Camp because I think that was the English name for this character over here. And then we're simply going to go back and let's find some more symbol arts. Now there will be some symbol arts over here where it's not super obvious on where the password is and what you want to look for are the brackets over here. So you can see the password over here is actually no face so it's N O F E. You can copy that, post that here and confirm and boom it's success. All right. So you're kind of looking for any English words with these type of brackets around it and that's usually the password. If that is not the password, another thing you can also look for is the author's name. Sometimes the password is the author's name but it's always going to be in English. It's it's not going to be in Japanese, or at least I haven't seen any symbol arts over here that uses a Japanese password. All of them have been English passwords. So it's really easy because it really stands out, especially if you can't read Japanese or can't read any of the symbols over here. So hopefully that helps you out. And again, you know, you've got a lot of the Hololive girls over here as well. So if you do like Hololive or anime, this website is a really good resource to get a bunch of symbol arts already pre-made. Okay. However, this time we are going to go to the quote unquote unofficial ones. The unofficial ones are really just the symbol arts that they've uploaded on this website. I don't think it's actually categorized in these are official symbol arts. These are unofficial symbol arts. I think it just might be a translation error of some sort or maybe just, you know, misunderstanding on my part. But these symbol arts are a lot easier to download. So let's just browse over here and let's try to find one that we like. So let's say we like this one over here with high friends. What you can do is you simply just click on it and it's just going to download. It's super easy. So if you don't want to deal with these special symbol arts on where you have to get a password, you got to type it in and click download now, then simply just browse the unofficial ones on the bottom row over here. So you can see this one has library one all the way to 77, while the official ones have a library one to a hundred and one. All right. So this one requires passwords. The one down here does not require passwords. Okay. And you can see here we have downloaded the highfriends.sar. Again, we are going to go to our import folder over here. We're going to drag this in. All right. Once you've saved all your symbol arts, the next thing is, of course, to log into the game. I'm just going to log on to my ship one character because she has a lot more uh, emote slots open or symbol art slots open since my ship two character is full with uh, the hollow life girls. So I don't really want to overwrite any of those because uh, those were actually made by a friend. So I can't find those on the uh, on the website. All right, once we're logged into the game, again, we're going to press enter. We're going to go over here to the symbol arts tab. And as usual, on the save list here, are all the symbol arts that you've saved. But what we want to go is go to the import tab and tap import. Once you've tapped it, you're going to see here are all the different symbol arts that we just saved. So you can see the high friends that we wanted, the Yuri Camp one over here. So what you can do is simply click on it, save, and then you can overwrite any of the symbol arts over here. For example, let's replace that. Boom. And now when I go to my save list, boom, the Yuri Camp emote is here. However, don't worry because everything in your import list is going to stay here. So basically, you can just replace this whenever you want. You can just save. Let's say that you want to do that Hi Friends emote. You can just replace it. Boom. And once it's replaced, you can say Hi Friends. And once that's done, then let's say you want to do another emote that's on your imported list. You can go to your import list again and just save over the Hi Friends and then go back to your save list. And now you can spam this one. It's super duper easy. Very, very nice. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again.
But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! Can I say except you're welcome For the heals, the boosts, the rest